Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Arix here and in today's video, I've got something very special to show you. If any of you are fans of Wipeout, then you'll know that on June the 7th, the Wipeout Omega Collection is coming out. I actually did a video on that at the end of last year when I went to PlayStation Experience. However, ahead of the launch of the game, PlayStation UK very kindly sent me a special media package. This is very limited. There are only a select few of these in the world and I believe this is the only one in the UK. So in today's video, we are gonna take a look inside. If you do enjoy that, then a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the contents of the box. But let's not waste any time and let's dive right in. The very first thing you will see is of course the cardboard sleeve itself. This actually features a rather striking wipeout scene. You have two ships racing through this futuristic style city. It is predominantly in black and white with some glossy silver accents, but there is also this red color running down the bottom to depict the jet fuel or the boost fuel coming from the ships. Of course, if you look around the box, you can see the design continues the entire way around. Looks really, really nice. But if we then slide this off, you can see down below is the Wipeout Omega Collection logo. Of course, the majority of the box is in this sort of satin matte black, but the logo and of course the PlayStation icon too is in this gloss black. But if we then open this up, you can see we are greeted by this very nice orange and silver perspex or acrylic sheet. And on the top, it says Tigron Enterprises, which is of course one of the Wipeout racing teams. However, if you look further down, there are some smaller icons at the bottom. These are some of the other teams. So of course, different teams, different ships. But the reason the Tigron Enterprises one is so big is because the contents of this box pertain specifically to that team. If you actually look at the lid of the box, when we open up just before we lift off this Perspex sheet, you can actually see a description of what is inside. This at the top is the Tigron KVSR, which is one of the latest ships to join the Anti-Gravity Racing League. And the official description for this states that the KVSR appeared very late in the Tigron timeline and came under immediate scrutiny due to both its high performance and a layout that betrayed the design principles of their earlier craft. Competing technical designers began suggesting that the propulsion system couldn't possibly fuel the four visible thrusters without breaching capacity regulations and the whole structure seemed to be built with the intention of aiding illegal ramming techniques. An investigation was then started with the team's lead engineering representative appearing at the initial hearing, but the proceedings didn't last long. There is then a quote further down below from the Tigron chief engineer that says, where I come from, we have a saying, you cannot feed your hunger by staring at another man's plate. Jealousy will only see you starve. So take a good look at the Quirix assets we acquired. Take a good look at the KVSR and then take a good look at yourselves. There is of course additional bump down below, but if we take a look on the right hand side, you can see that the ship itself has a speed rating of 100, handling of 70, thrust of 75 and shield of 70. And this is number 20. I did mention this was a pretty limited box. This is number 20 of Actually, I'm not entirely sure how many of these there are, but this is 20. Now, of course, if you want to read the rest of the bump, you can then pause the video and just kind of read what's on screen. However, if we then dive a little bit deeper into the box and take off this Perspex sheet, down below is the main event. At the very top, we have this mirrored base plate, of course, with these uh, designs on the top, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. And on the top is a jet black model of the Tigron KVSR. Now, if we then turn our attention back to the box and get everything else out, we have a clear plastic disc, which will be used for the assembly process in a moment. Below that, we then have a blue magnet, a pretty strong magnet. So I definitely want to make sure I don't place that near any technology. And then down below that, we have anti-gravity instructions. This is a little cardboard sheet that explains how to assemble the whole thing. But if we then put that to one side, we have a power adapter and also a cylindrical black plastic tube. So what this all is together is effectively a means to make the Tigron KVSR model float above this cool mirrored base plate. If we then plug the power adapter into the back of the base plate and then plug it in and turn it on, this activates the LEDs. The magnet itself inside is already there but this is purely for the LEDs. So if you do want to have it during the daytime and you don't want it on, you can then turn it off if you so wish, but this definitely adds to the effect, especially when we assemble the whole thing. So with the lights on, what you then do is you place the clear cylindrical disc in the center. This is purely just to help you align things. And the black cylindrical tube then goes on the top. It slots into the kind of ridges in the middle. 
And this then acts as effectively a guiding tube for the magnet because in the base plate is a strong magnet and in the blue little sort of pebble shaped thing that I got out of the box, that is also a very strong magnet. So if you place that in the tube, of course, opposing sides and whatnot, they will then try and push apart. And this then results in the blue magnet floating. Now, of course, the reason for the black tube is just to try and sort of guide it so it's centrally above the base plate magnet. Of course, you could probably do it without it but there's no guarantee you'll be able to line it up perfectly. So with this in place, you can then take the black plastic tube off, of course doing it very carefully, trying not to knock the magnet too much. And you can then see if I pass my hand underneath, there is nothing in there. This isn't some sort of editing trick or some kind of optical illusion, nor have I tied some sort of clear cord to the blue thing to try and create this idea that it's floating. That is purely two magnets pushing apart from one another. I can also remove the plastic clear disc as well but with this floating I can then take the Tigron KVSR model put it on top of the floating blue magnet and voila we then effectively have a floating ship and of course in wipeout ships float above the ground so this effectively creates that look pair that with the fact that the blue LED lights are on and you get this really really nice effect I appreciate it's daytime at the time of filming this but if you look at the sort of underside of the ship then the lights do really light up the sort of jet black body and it just does look really, really cool. Now, depending on how the balance is as well, and depending on sort of like how I place it, then the weight does actually result in it sort of spinning around as opposed to just sitting and floating. So obviously if I wanted to try and avoid that, I could try and rebalance a little bit so it's perfectly balanced and that way it'll probably sit steady. But I actually quite like the whole sort of spinning thing. It almost acts like a sort of display case because it's constantly spinning around showing different angles of the ship. It means I get to sort of see all different sides of it. But this does look very, very cool. Now, as mentioned, the lights don't necessarily need to be on. So if I didn't want to plug it in or I didn't necessarily have a spare, say, power port, I could just unplug it and then have the mirrored base plate sitting there with the ship floating on top. But I do definitely think, given the fact that the ship itself isn't painted, given the fact that it is just jet black, I think the blue lights do definitely sort of light up some of the different angles on it and do make it look really, really striking. So there you have it, that is a look inside the special media package for the Wipeout Omega collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Massive shout out to the guys over at PlayStation UK for both sending it to me and also picking me to be the one in the UK to show it to you guys. That is a huge privilege and it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever had a chance to unbox. Absolutely love the sort of floating platform with the uh, 3D printed ship. I mean, it just screams Wipeout, right? It's like a floating ship. So can't get much cooler than that. So for the time being, that's it. If you guys did enjoy the video, then a like would be super appreciated. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to the collection, if you guys are Wipeout fans. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.